Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back. So today is part five of updating my baseball card albums flashback to the 1990s. And in this album today, we're gonna to be taking a look at uh, players, the last names of KL through MU. So some of my all time favorite baseball players are gonna be in this album. So I'm real excited to take a look in here. Um, before we look at this, we are going to take a look, give you an update from part four of how this looks. You can see I took out a ton of pages. This was slam full. Here are a bunch of the pages that I took out, a bunch, a bunch of the older ones there. Here's a bunch of cards I pulled out that I'm gonna end up putting in my common box to give away to people. So I took out just a ton of cards. And there's even more that I took out than that too. So that kind of gives you an idea of the cards I took out. Like I said, I put in a bunch of new pages so everything looks nice there. And now it's pretty much just Hall of Famers, a few uh, stars, recent stars, Ichiro, Bo, got a bunch of Bo Jackson cards. So yeah, so real happy with how this album turned out. And got plenty of room to add pages to it. So let's take a look at this new album. All right. So starting off this album, we have Ryan Klesko. And he was a big prospect for the Braves in the 90s, around the same time as Chipper Jones. Um, he had a pretty decent career. Obviously, Chipper Jones had the better career. What do we got here? Some Koufax cards, Paul Canerco, uh, John Crook. I always remember the game, the All-Star game, when uh, he went up against Randy Johnson and kind of bailed out on the at-bat. Mark Langston, old Seattle Mariners pitcher there. Barry Larkin, one of the Cincinnati Reds greats. I think I got a bunch of him. Probably will pull most of these cards out of old Barry. 89 Fleer Barry. That's a really cool insert there, Barry. Fleer had some nice inserts. Some more junk wax cards of Barry and more Barry. I don't need all these Barry Larkin cards. More Barry. And more Barry. Some Francisco Lind Lindor. Uh, Kenny Lofton. Yep. Probably pull those out. Javi Lopez, another Braves great from back in the day. What rookie is this? Mike Lowell. I think he played for the Red Sox. A couple Manny Machado cards. Oh, Greg Maddox. Here we go. Speaking of Braves greats, that the Cubs wish they never got rid of him. And of course, we've got to have the cards in the back. These classic cards, um, I remember getting this says right when I first started collecting too. Some of these cards are at least a few dollars when I've been going through them. Some more Maddox. I know I got a bunch, a bunch of Greg Maddox. This is another set too. I think it was 89 Donruss, 88. This is one of those special sets that they put out that year. Some more, more Maddox. More cards in the back. Oh yeah, a bunch and bunch of Maddox. And I got these big cards in every album. I'll keep this one. I don't know how, I'd love to sell these, but there's no way I could ship these probably without them getting damaged, so. Some Roger Maris cards, a few Mickey Mantle cards that aren't the good ones. Billy Martin. I got his autograph back when I first started collecting two ball in 1987 and um, at some card show in North Carolina somewhere. Edgar Martinez. Ramon Martinez. <clears throat> he had a nice little career too. Bunch of Pedro Martinez rookie cards there. 
maybe hopefully I could sell a few of those. Ramon and Pedro together. What we got here? Some more Ramon. Tino Martinez. Had a nice career with the Yankees there. I don't need all these Tino Martinez. I'll end up pulling all those out. Look at all those Tino Martinez. Look at all of these. My goodness. Eddie Matthews. Reprint cards. Here we go. And these are the ones I was really looking forward to, to looking here. Don Mattingly. <clears throat> when I got back into collecting, um, and when I first started collecting, obviously his 89 Don, all his rookie cards were way out of way out of my price range. Um, so I never had them. So when I did get back into collecting, luckily at that time, which was about five, six, seven years ago, something like that, um, I was able to get all of his rookie cards for about five, six bucks. They're really cheap back then. I know they started going back up in price since then. Look at Mattingly. Man, if injuries didn't uh, get to his career, he would have been really mentioned with the all-time greats. With the Yankees, you know, people do adore him still. He had a few really good years there. Then injuries just, you know, these, I love the 88 tops of his there. Injuries just really started taking a toll with him. 87 tops, love that. Some more Fleer. Bunch, bunch and bunch of Madeline cards. And more Mattingly. Very nice. A few of the newer ones. Love that. How nice is that card? Real nice. Nice picture of him there. Some Willie Mays. Just some cards thrown into sets in the late 80s there. Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Started off the Blue Jays. It had a real, real nice career with the Braves. I think it, I think he was really close. Oh, sport of flicks. Let's see if I can get that to change there. Well, it does change. I think he was like maybe a few home runs short of the 500 club. More McGriff. Oh, those, I love this set here. I think it was the first, the first year Leaf came back. And that set, I remember it was real expensive at the time. I think they said it was short printed, but who knows if it really was. And then McGuire. I think I know I got a bunch of McGuire cards. Love McGuire. The documentary this summer was interesting too. Another one of those classic cards. Bunch of McGuire's and his uh, 85 tops. Olympic card was another card also that I got when I first got back into collecting. I'm talking about a card that was super high back in the day. Some more junk wax. More Meguiars. Bunch of Meguiars. And there's the 91 Fleer that a lot of people aren't big fans of. And more Meguiars. <laughs> Just keep going and going. I'll keep all of these. These, uh, I had a bunch of these. Like, obviously, you can tell. A bunch of these little insert sets. These sets were like 40, 50 card sets. That Fleer, you know, they had those Kmart cards and the KB cards. There's another. Look how good those the pictures were in those sets. Donners really did, did those nice. What we got here? Some more junk wax. Like the 89 Fleer picture of his. Kevin Mitchell. His cards were popular for a short period of time back then. Got Paul Malter, member of the 3000 Hit Club. 
most of his years were with the Brewers. Some with the Twins and Blue Jays are there at the end. More Molitor. My uh, best friend growing up, he was the Molitor guy. My other best friend was the Conseco guy. And then I was the Bobby Bonilla guy. I will keep all these Paul Molitors. What we got here, Joe Morgan. I think he just recently passed away this year. Nothing too great of his cars. Jack Morris. Uh, another brave great coming up. Dale Murphy. Some nice cards of his. 87 tops. He's really uh, cool to follow on social media too. I love that. Another one of those Fleer insert sets. I guess the color schemes aren't the best, red, blue, and yellow, but the cards really do stand out. Eddie Murray, another 500 Home Loan Club member. I'm trying to pull them all these cards out. Not very friendly with uh, the media, old Eddie Murray. So yeah, this is it for this album. Big time flashback for the 90s with these cards. I'll work on replacing a lot of these pages. Here's an example right here, older page. And uh, pull a lot of these cards out, condense these down. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing with updating my baseball card albums from the 1990s. See you guys. Be good.